the girls weren't allowed to do anything in school or in summer. And I grew up playing baseball every day with the boys. And my town was 700 people, so there wasn't a whole lot to do. And um, if you weren't a farmer, you were in town playing baseball. And so I got picked to be on one of the little league teams when I was 10. And the night that I was supposed to pitch, um, the women's club actually came across the street. They had a meeting and they came over and told the coach, uh, she's not allowed to play because she's a girl and you know, something bad could happen. Girls just can't play with the boys. And so the coach goes up to my dad and said, Hey, you're going to have to tell her she doesn't get to pitch. She's going to be crushed. And my dad goes, no, 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 you're the coach, not me. I'm not doing it. And so he told me that I couldn't play. And I only lived like three blocks from the park. So I ran home, locked myself in my bedroom for like three days because all I wanted to do, you know, I was better than all of them. And I couldn't figure out why couldn't I play. So my mom actually told my dad, you're going to have to start a girls team. And I had uh, three older sisters and, and only two were athletes. and. So my dad started a softball team and I lied about my age because in ASA you have to be 12 and I was only 10. So I lied about my age for two years so I could play. And then I played for like 33 years till I was, you know, 44 or 42. And, um, but that's why I got started in that. And